Hey, what's going on everyone? Matthew from TheRightTrader.com here back today with another cryptocurrency video. Today I'm going to be going over and doing a paid review for Skycoin. So this video is actually in fact sponsored by the Skycoin team. And you know, they came to me and asked if I could do a fair and honest review for their cryptocurrency. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. And I wanted to assure you all that I intend to keep this channel as authentic and transparent as, as possible. So I will always make sure that, you know, I'm working with a, a truthful team uh, and, and really make sure that I'm giving you the, the highest quality content as possible, possible no matter what, right? I always want to stay truthful. So I'm not going to be embellishing anything. I'm really just going to give you my, my true honest opinions on Skycoin. And another thing that I should mention, let's move over to Skycoin now, but another thing that I should mention is some people might be turned off by, you know, cryptocurrency teams and, and projects that market out their their cryptocurrency to you know influencers and stuff and I think that that's actually a really good sign because you don't want to be involved in a cryptocurrency that's not you know putting itself out there not promoting itself right that that will never end well and I think that it's a great sign when when a cryptocurrency is really trying to trying to make a make a name for itself you know you need to do, have that in this market because otherwise nothing will ever happen right you won't just get users, you know, falling from the sky. So Skycoin is currently ranking at the 135th spot on CoinMarketCap.com. So definitely one of the smaller cryptocurrencies out there, which means that, you know, it's a it's a higher risk, higher reward uh, type thing here that we're going to be looking at. And I'm going to get into the numbers and the chart in just a second here. But really quickly, let me go over their website and kind of what they're working on, as well as uh, I'll jump in really quickly. You know, their community is pretty small. Only 150 readers on their subreddit, so not the most active, which, you know, unfortunately, that's not the best sign, but it's completely expected with the smaller cryptocurrencies, right? They obviously are in a stage where they need to get more adoption is, is sort of key for, for yeah, these, these um, in these levels of, of their growth, right? Moving over to their website, I should, by the way, mention that their Twitter does, in fact, have, um, I think, about 1,500 followers. So that's a, a decent sign. Now, going over to the website, as you can see, it's a, a very clean and professional website, which is always something that I appreciate. Now, with that being said, their, their, as far as their project goes, this is the, the main thing that I'm going to be uh, talking about really quickly, which is, you know, what exactly are they trying to do? They're trying to fix certain problems that the Bitcoin network has, right? Namely, the centralization with miners. I, I think that everyone knows that. Every, no one really claims that Bitcoin itself is, is you know, centralized. It's more the, the mining aspect of Bitcoin that has some issues with it. How big of a problem that is, you know, that's arguable. But they're working on that, really making it a true decentralized coin on, on all aspects and, and fairness within the, the mine, mining aspect of things. They also have their Skyware miner hardware. And yeah, so they're, they're, they're basically right here. What is Skycoin? Skycoin is designed to implement Satoshi's original version and fix the problems with Bitcoin, right? And I'm not going to go into too much detail. You know, I'm not going to go through all the white papers and stuff. You can definitely do that if you're interested. I'll, I'll leave a link to their website in the description and in the comments below. But I'm, I'm going to jump into the numbers here pretty quickly. What I do want to say, though, as far as the website goes, I, I think that it's, uh, it's clean and everything. It's nice. The one thing that I would want to, to see, though, is a, a little bit more, you know, of a streamlined and and simple explanation while keeping it, you know, detailed enough to really explain to people uh, what exactly they're working on, right? Now, moving over to the numbers here, currently has a market cap of just under $25 million. Now, this is completely coincidental, but it's actually having a really good day today. And so its volume is pretty high, you know, over $40,000 now, up 9%, which puts it uh, above $4, okay? And I'm going to talk about that in just a second, and I think it's actually a pretty good sign. Like I said, the fact that it's up today is completely coincidental. Um, I was just waiting to make this video because I was busy with, with all the other videos I was making, so it just happened to be on a, on a good day for Skycoin. Um, they're only, unfortunately, listed on two exchanges, which isn't something that I like very much, that's something that I think they should really work on because obviously that's going to be key to, to their growth and adoption is being on more uh, exchanges. I think they're only on two right now and we can see that, you know, pretty much all the volume is coming from Cryptopia. 
So that'll definitely be a, a big plus if they can get on some, some bigger exchanges in the, the future. And I do think that they're actually working on that. I, I had seen an interview. So, you know, if they can get on some bigger exchanges, that's really going to be a, a big selling point there. Now, as far as the circulating supply goes, you know, it's around 6 million right now. Total supply and a max supply, 100 million Skycoin. So that's something that I, I do like. You know, you all know that I like um, limited and scarce supplies. And this, you know, anything that's under 100 million is, is good in my book. So that's a good sign. Now, as far as the chart goes, what's been going on with, with Skycoin, okay? As you can see, they started going, uh, you know, public trading in April 2017. Uh, didn't really do much was pretty flat, you know, but but slowly got some growth and then really got a, a nice spike here in in June 2017 where they moved all the way up to um, four dollars and sixty cents and Pretty quickly afterwards went back and and put in an, an even higher high Which uh, was at their all-time high at four dollars and seventy one cents after falling back down, right? So I think we had a bit of a sell-off after that and it did catch itself back up nicely on its previous um, you know, sort of support level and previous high, which was the support level, bounced nicely off that, which is good to see, and was pretty flat. And just today, like I said, got, um, you know, a spike in the, the last two days that pushed it above $4. And, you know, we got a bit of a, a break a breakout here from, you know, these resistance levels that were around $3.70, and, and um, you know, cents, $3.80. But the big, the big thing here is that it broke above $4. Now, you have to be cautious because obviously you can see that it did break multiple times in the past above $4, right? So we're going to have to see if this will hold and move higher, come and test the all-time high possibly, which is, would be a good sign, right? What we don't want to see is just that this is just a, a quick spike and that it'll, it'll come back down, right? Now... Where do I kind of see Skycoin heading in, in the near future, right, the next couple months? I'll say that right now it does look pretty good as far as the chart goes. Now, of course, to really get some, some good adoption, it'd probably mean, need to be on more exchanges. But that aside, what, what I would like to see is it basically coming back, testing the, the all-time high here, which is, you know, like I said, around uh, $4.70, and then hopefully breaking up above that, right? If that happens, it can really skyrocket because... You know, these coins that are pretty undiscovered and, you know, low market cap, low supply, they really take off and can really quickly shoot up into the top 100, right? Like I said, it's at the 135th spot. If we can see, you know, a breakout above, above uh, $4.70, I wouldn't be surprised to kind of see this really shoot up the ranking. And if it does make it, you know, in the next couple months in the top 100, that's going to be pretty huge, right? And as you all know, I always say once it reaches the top 100, we always have a lot more eyes on the cryptocurrency. So from there, you know, sky's the limit usually. Now, one thing that I, I will say is it's obviously possible that, you know, this spike right here will, will not hold and it comes back down to, you know, $3 or whatever. In that case, I do kind of expect it to keep its, its range here that it's been holding, so to stay kind of range bound. But right now, you know, we got a nice bump. We broke out of this, this sort of support area over here, and it's really going to, we'll have to see in the next couple of days, will it be able to, you know, reach its all-time high and possibly move higher than that in the next couple months. Let me know what you guys think of Skycoin. Have you guys heard of this cryptocurrency before? Do you guys like it? Like I said, I'll be leaving a, a link to their website if you're interested in more of the fundamentals uh, in the description and comments below. But I'll definitely keep you all updated if some interesting th things happen for, for Skycoin in the future. And yeah, I'll really be looking forward to see if this one can actually break out and, and climb near the top 100 ranking. With that being said, everyone, I appreciate you watching this video. And make sure to leave a like. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.